guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back in my favorite city i'm back in paris i just landed i'm here with lacoste and i'm going to roland garo and yeah we're going to that tonight really excited because i've always wanted to watch tennis live now i'm just headed to the vintage shop i want to look for some vintage pieces hopefully i find some cool vintage bits i need to go to support guys i was doing my makeup today and i realized that i don't have setting powder so i'm here with no setting powder on my eye i had to use eyeshadow as setting powder but um yeah i need some setting powder immediately so yeah just out and about and i might potentially look for an apartment once i'm here Ooh, who knows i just love it here so much it's my happy place so yeah i'll i think i'm gonna use some apartments and see what i see if i like anything and just take it from there i'm not like guaranteeing moving here or anything but i'm just gonna see and if i fall in love with an apartment then i might just take the jump and move here but for now i am just gonna enjoy my brand trip what's happening is that we're leaving tomorrow but i decided to just extend my flight so i can look for an apartment just be in paris and then come back so i'm probably gonna be here for like a week um but yeah it was supposed to be a quick one day trip but you know i can't leave paris after a day so i have to stay here longer guys i just finished doing up some vintage shopping there was literally such good bits this is the store it's called snow bunny and yeah it's so good i'm gonna show you guys once i get back to the hotel what i got guys how cute are these jeans that i found they are so cute oh my god i love a vintage jean these were only 60 euros so i think that's like 40 pounds roughly but you know with the economy it's a bit burr. it's got this little cute i just love this i got this cute bikini so thin and stretchy vintage of course super cute okay this was 100 from this brand called plein sud sun very cute and then I got this Rico and dress, which I actually haven't tried on. I'm going to try it on now. But I just love the material and it's kind of sheer. But I feel I feel like with a Skims um, bralette and with a Skims thong, it would look so fire. Let me try it on for you guys. Guys, this is the Rick Owen dress. It's really, it's really sheer. But I feel like with a nice Skims like bralette and a nice Skims, um, what do you call it, pants, it would look very cute very nice very cute very chic love guys how cute is my tennis outfit thank you so much to lacoste for sponsoring this trip honestly it's been so fun so far and i'm so excited to watch the tennis honestly so yeah i'm ready to go this is my fit i'm just wearing this lacoste cardigan this lacoste skirt lacoste trainers my chanel bag and I don't know if I should keep the hat if it's giving like too much. Should I do hat? I don't know if I should do a hat or not. I feel like it looks classier without a hat. I'm not gonna wear the hat.
issue is still ready. This is so intense, and because they're so close, it just feels like ah. to I'm heading for some Pilates who am I I feel like those really productive people in the morning this is a rare occasion so I'm literally going downstairs to meet the team now and then we're gonna go for some Pilates and then some smoothie I put way too much cream on my face I'm literally shining <laughs> but um yeah
Guys, that was literally so good. I've taken up Pilates from that one. <laughs> literally, I feel like I've done a full body workout. She was working out your core, your back, your arms. Every pieces of my body that I didn't even know I had. So yeah, it was so good, it was so good. Guys, I have literally had the worst morning ever. So I went to the hotel. The hotel was so trash and I'll put a video of the hotel and this was like two grand and the hotel was so bad I had to leave. But I couldn't get a refund so that's too gone. And then I went to this other hotel called Nov Novotel. It was good, but um, it's so far from everything. Like I'm like in the like in the middle of nowhere. So I left that hotel because I checked in before I cancelled. So they still have to charge me for the first day. So, so now I'm going to uh, my third hotel. No, my fourth hotel of the day. So I was at my initial hotel. Went to another one. Went to another one. Now this is the fourth hotel. So hopefully 
I'm gonna be lucky with this fourth hotel it's in like the center which is what I need because I just feel secluded I'm secluded from my friends I'm secluded from everything shops like I'm literally in the middle of nowhere so yeah that's the update and yeah honestly guys wish me luck because all I've done today is run around trying to find a hotel I feel comfortable in and I'm not even being fussy but this hotel was really just not it this the hotel that I was just in was fine but it's just far from everything so it's like what's the point I might as well be in London and stay at home rather than being in Paris and not be able to explore so yeah we're relocating for the third time no fourth time hopefully fourth time lucky so I'll show you guys once I get there I'm actually praying this hotel is fine because this is just a lot I just made it to the new hotel things are looking up things are looking up this is the hotel it's very cute in here I like how it's just clean and modern, but the view is gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. What can I see from here? This is a view and a half. Imagine waking up. Oh my God, I can look at the tennis from here. I've been running around from 12 trying to find a good hotel. I like this hotel, but I don't know if it's worth it. I feel like that's a bit overpriced, but also because there's... I think there's like a football final, the tennis game, all the prices have gone up and inflation. I do get to have a really nice view, I get to see my friends. I'm really close to the centre so beggars can't be choosers, eh? Because after what I've been through today, you guys don't even want to know the half. So I was in my hotel and it's basically in a, it's, it's in quite, the hotel I was in before is in quite a bad area. But I didn't know because I just put in Paris and it just took me to a random place in Paris, which is nowhere near the centre. Um, so I didn't really feel safe in that hotel. So I had to relocate. This is my fourth hotel of today. I'm happy, can finally settle down. I feel like this hotel isn't really that big, but um, you know I'm not going to complain because I do really like the view, so... Yeah, that's me. That's me for today. So but what I'm basically going to do now is wait for my friend to get here. And then um, I need to go and eat. I've not eaten anything today. I'm just going through so much. So yeah, that's what's happening. And um, yeah, I'm going to stay in Paris for extra five days. So today's Saturday and I'm going to leave on Thursday. So yeah, from now until then, I might look for an apartment. But it's actually such a long process looking for an apartment. And I don't know if I have the mental capacity to do it right now because it's actually a lot. I have so much to do. My brain is on overdrive, but we made it. I'm just chilling in my hotel I'm literally gonna watch a nice Netflix movie I just feel so grateful right now I feel really really grateful and blessed and like everything that I prayed for is coming to life but it wouldn't be possible without the love that you guys have shown me so I just want to show an immense amount of gratitude because honestly I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for the love that you guys show me on a regular basis so I just want to say thank you I also want to give a huge thank you to Lacoste for this trip honestly I feel so blessed and so grateful and it's like the younger me wouldn't even imagine or fathom that I would be invited to things like this everyone was so so lovely and I don't take these moments for granted rather than reflecting like three months later and be like wow I did that I'd rather reflect in the moment and be like wow this is the moment this is now let me embrace it fully now let me be grateful and appreciative now instead of in the future you know I feel like I don't know I don't know how to ex I don't know how to explain this but I've just started to have this new kind of outlook on life where I can just sit back as something is happening and really embrace it so that I'm not like oh I feel like I should have embraced it more I feel like I'm embracing things more in the moment I've also been feeling a bit emotional today I feel emotional in a positive way like when you pray for something and you stay on your path God makes it happen so 
glory to god always i'm going to wrap up this vlog here because i feel like i might do two parts so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a part two to paris because i see you guys i appreciate you and i love you so so much so